eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, and I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative. Look, if we finally beat Medicare. Joe Biden and Donald Trump faced off in the first presidential debate ahead of elections in November. President Biden's performance has led to concern among Democrats. After he was seen fumbling while articulating points about immigration, abortion, and other key issues, a bombastic Trump lashed out at his successor, calling him a failure on the economy and the world stage. Biden looked to hit back, but his delivery was hesitant as he spoke rapidly in a soft, trailing off voice and stumbled on his words several times. I mean, billionaires in America are eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, Indian-American and Republican Party politician Vivek Ramaswamy launched a scathing attack on Biden in a series of tweets. But if somebody at home is asking themselves, who's going to make me proud of being an American again? That's where Trump won this hands down. He mopped the floor. I thought it was a great outcome. I would have liked Biden to be more aggressive in pointing out um, so the mistakes that Trump made while he was president, his dishonesty. I felt like that a lot of things that were untrue got unchallenged in the debate. Um, so yes, I, I would have liked there to be a more aggressive push towards showing how, why Trump is not fit to be there. Biden could have been uh, more articulate and, um, and louder, I guess, when he when he answered. He seemed a little soft-spoken. Um, I think right now he needs to command a space. Um, and in the face of attacks from Trump, uh, he would look stronger if he could uh, speak up. And, you know, I know he, did, he went through a lot of prep work, um, but I was looking for the zingers, things that, you know, his eyes are open wide and he's on his toes. Um, and I felt like he was missing that tonight. Trump probably won the debate, at least, um, you know, on points or you know, a close contest, but he came into tonight uh, ahead in a lot of the national polls. Biden's age, apparent spacing out, and disconnected ramblings mid-speech at events has brought the focus back on the age factor. However, the U.S. president rubbished criticism about his age during the debate. Well, first of all, I spent half my career being, being criticized being the youngest person in politics. I was the second youngest person ever elected to the United States Senate, and now I'm the oldest. This guy's three years younger and a lot less competent. I think that just look at the record, look at what I've done. However, critics are not impressed. At 81, Biden would be the oldest president in U.S. history if reelected. Critics argue that his advanced age could affect his ability to effectively lead the country. Serve him, and so the focus after this debate, a lot of the clips that will be replayed, is not the thing that President Biden wanted to focus to be on. But just the, the what's going to emerge from out of this is a big discussion about President Biden's age, which is the last thing he wanted following tonight's debate. Leading up to this critical first presidential debate, polls have consistently reflected concerns about Biden's age and its potential impact on his ability to govern effectively. According to recent surveys by the New York Times and Siena College, a significant portion of voters harbor reservations about whether Biden, at 81 years old, possesses the stamina and cognitive sharpness required for the demanding role of the presidency. These concerns are not unfounded. Throughout his presidency, Biden has faced scrutiny over his cognitive abilities and physical stamina, with critics pointing to instances of forgetfulness and verbal slips during public appearances. For many voters and political analysts, Biden's age represents more than just a numerical figure. It symbolizes concerns about generational leadership, health risks associated with advanced age, and the demanding nature of the presidency. Recent reports have highlighted moments where Biden's memory lapses became apparent during public speeches and interviews. For instance, in 2022, he asked whether a congresswoman who had recently died in a car accident was at a White House event. At a campaign event in Las Vegas this month, Biden suggested he recently met with former French President Francois Mitterrand, who died almost 30 years ago, before quickly correcting himself. Later, he confused German Chancellor Angela Merkel with the late Helmut Kohl. 
On Thursday, he mixed up the Mexican and Egyptian presidents. Last year, he referred to the war in Ukraine as the war in Iraq. As the debate unfolds between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, the question of age remains a critical factor shaping public perception and electoral dynamics. Voters are tasked with weighing Biden's extensive experience against concerns about his ability to lead effectively in a rapidly changing world. Will Biden's age become a deciding factor, turning the tides in Trump's favor? We'll have to wait and watch.